8 out of 10 people are not gonna make it through that door tonight. But why exactly is that? And is it a good thing? Well, you're about to find out. Many clubs in Berlin have a crazy strict door policy and a lot of people don't seem to understand why they don't just let in everybody. The best clubs in Berlin have also the strictest door policies because they can choose who to let in and who not and there is a good reason for that. Every single one of those clubs has their own unique style and with that in mind they also want to attract a certain audience to ensure that this audience also has a good time when they come, they need to keep out people who don't fit in. Let's take the example of Kata Blau. Kata Blau is a very colorful place. Many people come in costumes. It has some kind of a hippie vibe in there. So when someone wants to get inside who is dressed completely black or very uptight, of course they don't really fit in with the rest of the crowd. And then there's the complete opposite at Bergheim. If you come here with your colorful hippie outfit and everyone else is dressed hardcore industrial and completely black, it just doesn't go with each other. Many people coming to Berlin just heard, oh, Bergheim is the best club in the city and they want to go there. But they don't really know what's going on in there. They don't know that they're playing hardcore industrial techno. They don't know that it's full of half-naked gay men finishing each other off on the dance floor. Best example for that is this comment I got on one of my Berghain videos. Hi, I'm organizing a hen party for my wife and daughter. They're going sightseeing with a few friends and my sister-in-law. Would Berghain be a good club to visit? They'll probably have a few inflatable penises and some t-shirts they're making for the night. Can you imagine these girls being at Bergheim with their inflatable penises? Everybody who has ever been in Bergheim is laughing their ass off right now. But enough of Bergheim. In addition to their style selection, there are certain kinds of people clubs don't want to have inside at all. Because their goal is to create a great atmosphere. Top priority is to keep people out who may seem aggressive, judgmental or don't really know what they're getting themselves into. And I can tell you, they're doing a really good job at this. In all the years I have been partying in Berlin, I have never seen a single fight. Not a single one. Never. What the bouncers are also trying to achieve is a balance between male and female visitors. So when you're standing in line with your best mate and there's like five guys in front of you and they all got in, the odds are not in your favor. The bouncers are most likely now waiting for some girls to enter before they let in any more dudes because nobody wants to be at a sausage fest. Another general rule in Berlin is better underdressed than overdressed. There's a good reason for the city's long-term catchphrase poor but sexy. So leave your big brand names at home and put on your sloppiest clothes. 